Hello geeks and welcome to Geeks for Geeks. This is Sai Prakash here and I'm here to discuss the day 19th problem of uh, 30 day Geeks for Geeks coding challenge and it is called as a restricted Pac-Man. So in the game of restricted Pac-Man, an infinitely uh, linear path is given. Pac-Man has to start from position 0 and eat as many candies as possible. In one move, he can either uh, uh, only jump a distance of either M or N. If M and N are both co-primes, find how many candies will be left on the board after the uh, game is over. And there is a note saying that after uh, a finite point x, every index in the infinite path can be visited, right? So let's say uh, we have an infinitely long uh, path in x-axis and at each point there are some candies and our Pac-Man is starting from uh, uh, zero and he will eat the ca candies at uh, positions if uh, that can be reached by using either m or n, right? He can take at, at any point, he can take either m jump or n jump. And by using this M and N denominations, we have to generate uh, uh, all the possible numbers so that he can eat the candies from that position, right? And whatever the positions that he cannot reach, those candies will be left over. And we have to return the number of candies that are left over. Uh, let me tell you, this is problem is a very interesting problem, and it is uh, based on this uh, analogy called as a, a coin problem. So this is basically a problem given by a famous mathematician called as uh, uh, Frobenius. Right, so I'm sorry if I'm uh, pronouncing it wrong or something. So this is all the problem statement. Uh, no, let's read the problem statement and we'll understand what's the relation between these two problems, right? So he's a mathematician and he, he you know gave a problem statement, right? So asks that what is the largest monetary amount that cannot be obtained using only specified coins of denominations, right? So this is this is uh, basically same as our uh, no given problem statement. This is basically a spiced up version of this. Uh, coin problem so here we are given two denominations right so that is uh, m and n so m and n are uh, can be uh, considered compared with our two coins and uh, every candy is can be compared as uh, whether the amount can be generated or not so let's read the problem statement uh, so let's see the coin problem you no know, uh, so that we can understand how to solve this problem so he says that uh, he asks that uh, mathematical problem that asks for largest monetary amount that cannot be obtained using specified coins of known de uh, de uh, denominations. So that is a problem. And uh, here there is an example, right? So the largest amount that cannot be obtained using uh, only coins three and five is seven units. So using five and uh, uh, three, so we cannot generate uh, seven, right? So the solution to this problem uh, of quantity is called as a Frobenius number. So he has also proposed the solution and the solution he is calling it as a Frobenius number. And the Frobenius number exists as long as set of uh, denomination of the coins have no common divisor greater than one. So basically saying that uh, his Frobenius number that is uh, that is his formula for this problem exists if the numbers are uh, having no common divisor greater than one. So that basically is saying that uh, if X and Y are numbers of denominations, if they are uh, no, uh, co-primes, right? So as in our condition, M and N are co-primes. If they are co-primes, there is a solution. And he also gave a formula for that. The formula is if there are two different coin denominations, then the formula is that is the, the Frobenius number is X times Y minus X minus Y. So this is the Frobenius number and this is the largest number that cannot be obtained. So this is the largest monetary amount that cannot be obtained, right? So, and he also says that if the number of coins uh, of denomination is three or more, there is no formula. So this Frobenius number is a formula which is going to specify as what is the maximum number that cannot be generated. And it is exists for only if the number of denominations is two. And luckily uh, it is given that uh, we, ha we have only given uh, two denominations that is M and N and they're also co-primes. So this exactly fits to this common problem. So, and we can use this formula to generate the maximum amount. So I hope this uh, was uh, no, clear. And I suggest you to you know, go and read about this uh, Frobenius coin problem. This is an excellent problem to read. And uh, so, yeah, so once we know this, right? So we want to take care of this X. And so, and even the note says that uh, results are always finite. And at a point X, every index is an infinite path can be visited. So here the X, is nothing but x times y and minus x minus y right so this is how uh, the problem is going to work so we are going to generate our maximum number using the you no know, the problem we uh, the formula with that we saw right so we are going to generate that number and uh, now our problem statement is uh, you no know, cut cut short right so instead of looking in infinite numbers we are only going to look from 0 to the maximum number that is uh, 0 to frobenius number 
right so now we have to you know, check only in this part right and uh, again so now uh, we have to know instead of checking all the numbers so we are going to, only going to check numbers that cannot be a form right so let's say if i have uh, my frobenius number is some 1 million and instead of generating you know, some 9 9 uh, odd lakh numbers i can only generate 1 lakh numbers which cannot be formed right that makes sense right that the that is the intelligent intelligent thing to do so the analogy here is that so let's say if uh, uh, x is not cannot be uh, generated with m and n then obviously x minus m is also not going to be generated and the same case with x minus n is also not going to be generated so using uh, based on this uh, simple uh, intelligent trick we are going to generate all the numbers that cannot be formed by uh, uh, by using m and m right so these are going to be the places where candies are going to be left and in the end we are going to return the count of these numbers that we have generated from uh, from our frobenius number Right. I hope this was uh, clear. Let, let me just uh, implement that in code so that uh, it will uh, be clear, more clear to understand. Right. So as I said, we are going to generate our Frobenius number. I'm going to call it as the max number, or you can simply call it as the num or max n m n. So this is going to be our Frobenius number. Uh, as we see in the formula, right. So it is going to be x times y and x minus minus x minus y. So let's uh, try and uh, compute that. So in our case, it is going to be m times n minus of sorry m times n minus of m plus n so this is my for for, for bs number uh, and this is going to be a maximum limit so this is this is going to be the point x right after this point everything can be generated so now let's generate the numbers which are in this range which are not not going to be uh, generated so let's say for that i'm going to implement a queue so uh, i'm going to have a queue and uh, i'm going to know uh, push my uh, Frobenius number into that uh, initially, and uh, I'll I'll try to no no uh, generate these numbers which are which cannot be generated. So let's say if I'm if I'm seeing x in my uh, if I'm seeing x in my uh, queue, right? So I'm going to check whether uh, if x minus uh, sorry if if x is my list, I'm going to check if x minus m uh, can be possible and x minus n is possible. If they are possible, that is if they are greater than zero. I'm going to add this to the queue as well. I'm going to increase the count, right? So let's do that. And so, in order to implement this list, I'm going to use a simply. In order to going to implement a queue, I'm going to simply use a list. And I'm also also going to you no know, maintain a set called as a set of n. So, so this set is going to be store all my numbers that are uh, all the other places where candies are going to be left. Right, so we can simply initialize with uh, m n. So m n is going to be the first number that is uh, going to be uh, that cannot be generated, and we can also push push that into our uh, list as well. So this is our uh, list. So let's try and uh, you know generate these numbers. So while list that is while my queue is not empty, I'm going to take my number. So let's call it as num. Num is going to be my current value at my list that is first in and first out, right? So I will I will take first element so list of zero and now that i have uh, the consider this number i'm going to remove it uh, from my uh, queue that is list right so list dot uh, remove remove of uh, list of zero so list of zero is going to be removed and set n is going to be my set so so in order to know our duplicates and uh, counting the same number multiple times we are going to use the set set so now let's check so if num minus m is greater than 0 and it is not present in the set previously and num minus m not in our set so if it is not it is not in set that is if it's not uh, been calculated previously we are going to push it into our set so set n dot add of uh, num minus m and again, we are also going to push this into our uh, queue so that we can generate more numbers for, by using this number, right? So list dot uh, append of num minus n, right? So that 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 basically it, right? So we have x, so we are going to generate x minus m, and we also we are going to do the exactly same thing with uh, n as well. Uh, we can we have simply change the number. So if x minus n, sorry, if num minus n is greater than zero. And num minus n is previously not present in our set, so we are going to add this to our set, and we are going to add this to our queue. And we are adding it to into our queue because the uh, other numbers can be generated, and in the end we are going to return 
are uh, length of set length of set n right so let's try and test it and i will also show you with the uh, running some uh, custom inputs uh, candice takes two personal arguments i think there is something wrong here so it has to take self I'm not sure why that happened but uh, okay let's do let's try do a rerun huh there is a typo this is what happened guys no code will never run on first and we have to do debugging and all so yeah for uh, given inputs 2 and 5 so our uh, output is uh, 2 let's do one thing let's try and print these numbers so that we have a higher clarity right so let me just print my set so my set is going to be the numbers which are uh, which cannot be generated and uh, let's just with the custom okay okay so let's give it 2 and 5 only and we have to expect answers like 1 and 3 because 1 and 3 cannot be generated for uh, this so yeah so the, the 1 and 3 are the numbers that we are generating and we are pushing that into our set right so let's also do this with uh, what is the second input that we have so it is uh, 25 and 7 let's try and do it with 25 and 7 25 and 7 and the expect output is 32 let's check our output so these are the numbers guys so if i do this so our set has all these numbers so these are these all numbers are uh, what we have generated so we have taken our uh, uh, frobenius number and we have done a frobenius number minus m and frobenius number minus x and we are we are, we are going to again push this in, push this into our uh, list and we are going to maintain our set so that we are not uh, taking duplicate values multiple times and in the end we are going to return the maximum uh, count of our uh, set so i'm going to simply return the length of my set so let me just you know quick comment this out and if i submit then this should be accepted given that we don't have any errors so yeah this is accepted so i hope this video was helpful and this is, problem was very super uh, no interesting to solve as well and i hope uh, uh, you found it interesting to solve and you found the explanation uh, uh, nice and if that the case uh, give, please give a like to the video and uh, yeah uh, subscribe to geeks for geeks and uh, uh, keep solving these problems right so and uh, thanks for watching and have a nice day